Hi, in this tutorial I will uh, show how you can log uh, temperature data to a text file in LabVIEW. So the contents of this tutorial will be to use LabVIEW to read temperature data from a temp36 temperature sensor. We will use a USB 6008 DAC device in this tutorial but, but of course you can use another temperature sensor or another sensor or another duct device so the main purpose uh, with this tutorial is to show how you can uh, read uh, these data and save them in a text file using labview and then later you can for instance open uh, the data uh, that are stored in the text file in excel uh, make some plots do some data analysis etc so the hardware we are going to use in this tutorial is this uh, duct device, a breadboard, some wires and this temp36 temperature sensor. We will use LabVIEW and the graphical programming environment. In addition, in order to use this uh, duct device in LabVIEW, you need to have this duct MX uh, driver. So this driver use is used for communication with external hardware su su such as this USB 6008 duct device. So here you see an overview of this uh, duct device. It has uh, analog inputs and outputs. We will uh, use one of the analog inputs. Here you see um, a chart taken from the data sheet of the temperature sensor. So, the, um, so we will use this temp36 temperature sensor in order to find uh, the temperature but the output of this uh, temperature sensor is uh, a voltage signal so we need to convert it to uh, degrees celsius so from this um, chart in the data sheet of this temperature sensor we see the relationship between the voltage and the temperature in degrees celsius so this relationship is a linear uh, is linear so we can use this um, basic formula in order to find the linear relationship between the voltage and the temperature. So we just find two points on the curve uh, like this and then we put these values into this general formula and then we end up with this basic formula that gives the uh, relationship between the voltage and the temperature in degrees Celsius. Here you see the wiring, uh, so we just wire, uh, put the temperature sensor on the breadboard and we wire using three wires, one to 5 voltage, one to ground and the pin in the middle goes to one of the analog input channels of this uh, duct device. Here you see a physical channel, so I here I have my uh, temperature sensor and my duct device connected together and they are connected to my computer using a USB cable. So basically here you see the LabVIEW program for reading uh, temperature data from this uh, temp36 temperature sensor. So we use the DAC assistant, we select the proper uh, analog input channel, um, we convert the data type to an ordinary double data type and then we use this basic formula in order to convert from voltage to degrees Celsius and then you just present the temperature value on the front panel in LabVIEW like this. So let's create uh, open LabVIEW and create this uh, basic example. I just go to file new VI, go to my block diagram, right click, go to measurement input output, find this uh, duct MX palette, select the duct assistant put it on the block diagram select the acquire signals since we are going to use the analog input channel and we are acquiring a voltage signal are connected to the analog input channel number zero so I select this one and click finish then the voltage value is from zero to five uh, voltage I'm only going to read one sample on the band and my terminal configuration on the duct device is what you call reference single-ended 
so I select this one and then just click OK. Next I can just go on my front panel to create a numeric indicator and this should be the temperature value, the temperature in degrees Celsius. Like this. Now we can just wire those two together. Like this. That's the block diagram, and here we have the front panel. I can just save it. Just call it uh, temperature data. Like this. read temperature data and save it and then I can just click on the run button and then now we got the voltage value from um, the duct device so we need to convert it to degrees Celsius so then we need to use this formula we have to multiply uh, by 100 And then we have to divide, uh, sorry, uh, take minus uh, 50. So we use this um, subtract. And create constant 50. And then this input should come from the DAC assistant. Like this. And the output here should go to this uh, temperature. Now we can just run it once more, and then you see we got this temperature value in degrees Celsius. We have four decimals here, so we can just right click, select properties, go to display format, select digit of precision, select just one digit in this case. So now we have the temperature here on the front panel. As you may also notice, um, this uh, orange hair is uh, a double data type and this blue one is uh, what you call a dynamic uh, data type. So typically we want to convert this one to a double. So then I can just remove this one, right click, select search and then type uh, convert from dynamic data. So I just select this one which I find here from dynamic data type and I put it here on the block diagram and then you need to select the conversion uh, data type so it should be just a single scalar and click OK so then I wire the output from the DACA assistant into this one I can right click here to select uh, the caption and the output goes into this multiply symbol basically this is the same program we just use this convert from dynamic data in order co to convert it to a double so the result should be the same typically we also want to have a while loop so I put a while loop around my code like this and then typically we need to have a stop button which I put here I right click in order to hide this label and then I wire this stop button to this um, while loop condition so this is a while loop I can show the visible items label like this in addition typically we need to have some timing I use this wait function I right click on the input, create a constant and set a value in milliseconds. So I just set 100 milliseconds. Like this. So basically, uh, this is 
where we read value from a temperature sensor using a while loop. So let's just see and run the application. And now, if I hold my fingertips on the sensor, you will see this temperature will increase like this. And now I can release the temperature sensor and you see it uh, starts to drop. So basically, uh, this is a basic uh, application for reading values from a temperature sensor. So let's see how we can log this temperature data to a file. So then we need to find the built-in uh, uh, functions for writing to, uh, to a text file. So I just right click here, go to file IO, select write measurement file, which I just uh, put here. And then this uh, configuration window pops up. Here you can start by uh, select where you want to save the file. So I just save it to the same folder. I have this temp folder. And, and the name of the file could be temp to data. And the ending of this file, the file extension is LVM, short for LabVIEW measurement. So save to one file. Uh, I just want to overwrite the file. You can select between a text format or a binary format. I just select the text format. Um, no headers here. One column for the time series. And then you can select tabulator or comma. I just select tabulator. Then just click OK. And the next, no, I can just take this temperature data, which is in degrees Celsius, and put it into the signals input on this right to measurement file. So basically, that's it. So then I can just start running my application. And then you see the temperature file, or the, sorry, the the file with the temperature data are stored now in the same folder, in the, my temp folder. And I'm holding on the temperature sensor in order to make the temperature increase. And now I'm removing my fingertip in order to make it drop a little bit. So I get, get some different temperature values. And then I can just click the stop button here. And then go to the file explorer, open this one temperature data in my notepad. Just double click. Then you see I got two columns. The first column is uh, is the um, time series. So it's 0 second, 1 second, 2 second, 3 second, 4 second, etc. And this is the temperature values. So this is the raw values with lots of decimals, but you don't, of course, need all these decimals. So here you have 25,8 degrees Celsius, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, etc. So basically, this is how you read values from a temperature sensor and log it to a text file using this write to measurement file function. And then the data will be stored in a text file like this. Next, let's see how we can create a new uh, LabVIEW application where we read these uh, temperature data into a new application and plot them, do some uh, analysis, etc. So we have these uh, temperature data, and I will create a new application, go to File, New, and then just uh, close the old application. So now I'm going to read these values back into LabVIEW. So then I go to File, Input, Output. Instead of Write Measurement File, I will use this Read Measurement File. I will just put it here. And then you have lots of options here. Of course, I need to select the same file, which I have here on my hard drive in my temporary folder, this one. I will use this text format. Use a tabulator. I will use this decimal point and timestamp uh, this one. 
um, use, just use these default settings and then just see if it works as expected. Read file now. And as you see, this first column is the, my time series and this is the temperature values. So then I can just click OK here. So then we want to plot the data and we can show it in a two-dimensional array. So I start to create this um, two-dimensional array. I select this array, put it here, and it should be a um, two-dimensional array of numerics. So I select a numeric indicator, put it in here, and then <laughs> it should, should be a two-dimensional array. So I just drag this down um, like this. So we have two columns of data, and this first column should be my time values, and the second one should be the temperature in degrees Celsius. In addition, we need to plot it, so I select this graph, and select the waveform graph, put it here, make it a little bit bigger, like this. And of course, this x-axis should be time in seconds. This y-axis axis should be temperature in degrees uh, Celsius, like this. So now we start creating our uh, block diagram. So we just want to connect the data from this uh, read from measurement file into the array like this and as you see this pops up uh, automatically I can show the um, visible items caption so this is as you remember from the previous uh, application we was converting uh, from dynamic data and we need to do the same here so now I just right, uh, right click on this function, select properties, and the output here should be a two dimensional array. So I select a um, two dimensional array of scholars and columns are the channels. So I select this one, click OK. Uh, in addition, I need to wire it to this graph. Here I just need uh, this temperature column, so I use this array, index array function. I just uh, wire the data into this one, like this, and then it has an index for rows and an index for columns. So I just right click on the, this column index create a constant and then select this this is the first or the zero column and this is the first column so I select one here and then I wire the output to this waveform graph like this so basically this is uh, the application for reading this data from this text file into a two-dimensional array and this waveform uh, graph. So I just save it. Read from file, we can call this file. Click OK and then we can uh, run it. And as you see, this column is the is the values in seconds, so here we have 0 second, 1 second, 2 second, 3 second, and here we have the corresponding temperature values. We can right click here, select properties, digit of precision, and just select one digit like this. So then we have 1 second, 2 second, 3 second, and the corresponding temperature values in degrees Celsius. And then we got this plot of the temperature values. In addition, we can do some analysis. Let's say we want to find the mean, the standard deviation, etc. So then we can create um, a numeric indicator uh, 
for the average temperature value. So mean like this. We can have one for standard deviation as well. And then we go back to the block diagram. I select right click here. Uh, go to mathematics. We have uh, probability and statistics. So then we have this mean. And we have here a function for finding the standard deviation, um, etc. Here we have uh, different. So this one here, uh, this one finds the, the mean, the standard deviation, and the variance. So we use this one. You just wire the data as the input, and then sorry, it should be here. And then we find the proper input uh, outputs. Mean should go to mean. And the output standard deviation should go to standard deviation. Like this. So now we can just run our application. Just uh, improve my user interface like this. Save it and run it. And then you see we got the, the mean here. This is the average temperature value and this is the standard deviation. Of course, we can do this. Select properties. The display format, select, um, let's say, two dig digits here, like this, and the same here. So then we got the average temperature value in degrees Celsius, 29.56 degrees Celsius, and then we have the standard deviation. So basically, this is how we read uh, values from this text file. So these are th these are the values we are reading into this array and in this waveform graph. Finally, let's see how we can open this uh, temperature data in Excel. So I just open my Excel program. I just open a blank uh, workbook, and then we have the temperature data here. On inside my file explorer. So I just drag it in into my Excel sheet like this. So then we have two columns, one for the time series and one for the temperature data. And then I can just um, make a plot here in Excel. So select, um, so I just go to insert. And here we have lots of plots. I just select this uh, scatter plot uh, like this. Of course, uh, first I just need to select the data, go to insert, select my scatter plot like this. And then we have a nice plot of the temperature data. So as you see, this is the same plot as we got in, uh, in the Excel application. And of course, we can use the built-in uh, functions for, uh, in Excel for creating uh, uh, mean, standard deviation, etc. as well. So in this tutorial, we have shown how we can uh, read temperature data from a temperature sensor and then log this data into a file on your hard drive. Then we was showing how we can uh, open this file in LabVIEW, make a plot, do some uh, analysis, finding the mean, standard deviation, etc. And then finally, we opened the data in Excel and created a simple plot. So that's all. So thank you and good luck with your LabVIEW programming. Thank